So let's begin talking about my makeup bag. Firstly, um, this makeup bag, as you can see, does not look like a makeup bag, rather looks like some, I don't know, it looks kind of ugly to me. Um, I really wish I had found a better like um, substitute for this, but this baby here does a fabulous job at not just like keeping my stuff inside but holding it together because there are many times I literally stuff it to the point where the quality of the zip is really being tested. Um, this bag is by Bulgari uh, and my husband um, travels a lot for business and um, they give uh, these bags to business class travelers um, on longer flights um, on Emirates. So he has many of these and so I use it for my makeup bag. This one here is just my like um, bag for my go-to uh, products. Um, so one by one, let's see what's happening in here. Okay, so I have not really planned this. It's really random. Let's see what happens. Okay, this vitamin E serum has been in this bag forever and ever. It's been probably more than two years. But I do like use it once in a while. So there goes this. Um, okay, so there is a scent here. My um, niece, she gave me this um, body spray by Ted Baker and it is, it smells like a million bucks. Oh, I love it, really. Um, okay, so I've talked about these two lipsticks before in my um, video about local products. So both of these are basically nudes. Um, one is like a darker nude and one is a lighter nude and they are both by Sweet Touch. Today I will definitely be putting in the shade names in the description of this video. Um, oh, hee hee. So this is one of my favorite dark lipsticks. I got it from Sephora. It's by Too Faced. Um, this, you know, um, line of lipsticks, liquid lipsticks, they are so pigmented that I don't really know how to explain it. So if you just have even the smallest drop on your lips, you could stain your entire lip with it. It's that pigmented. And especially this color, this color um, is just super, super delicious. It's um, the shade is called Melted Berry, so a very deep berry and there is a gloss to it in the end. Uh, if you dab your lips with tissue, you can also get a, a matte finish, but when I do apply it, I just do it full on and I let my pout just ravish in the color and the, sh and the shine and the gloss, whatever it is. Uh, next comes... Um, this highlighter I got um, a few months ago and I've been in love with it. Um, it's not your typical um, typical highlighter where you kind of have a really flashy highlighter going on your face that it dazzles people, whoever looks at it. Um, they need to put on their shades. No way. This is a very natural. It's called, um, there's a name for it. It's called, yes. Pro Light Fusions. I just ran into this at Makeup Forever's um, kiosk and when I applied it, I was really, really honestly um, impressed and I was surprised to find such a non-chunky, like I have Becca, I have tried um, Huda Beauty, I have had Elf, I have had, I've tried a lot of highlighters, but this is called Pro Fusion. Um, Pro Light Fusion and um, it's more instead of being a highlighter it is more of a glowy um, powder and illuminator actually which just gives a very very natural glow to your skin I'm not sure if you can really tell but this is how it is and usually I use it for my day makeup as opposed to night makeup I don't do a lot of like um, eye makeup or stuff like that during the day so this really gives my face an added um, beauty and um, glow from within um, okay so this is the only eye shadow product that is in my bag I got this palette by MUA um, MUA has been like one of the first brands that I 
bought. This palette is basically all peachy and I had my eyes on a peachy palette by uh, Too Faced but I didn't really want to splurge on a, just a peachy palette just for the sake of having peach a peachy palette and when I came across Moa's peachy palette at um, my actually supermarket I grabbed it. It was just for I think 60 good homes and um, I'm really happy with it because you see um, the color payoff is good um, the blending and everything else I think is great and anyways I just want to use like a couple of colors um, for just an everyday look I'm not sure if that shows in camera but um, you know when you just put on some powder on your face and you just want to dab one or two eyeshadows one for your lids and the other as a highlighter um, and probably one in the crease this shadow is just good enough for that purpose um okay so there's another product here and that is this lipstick by sephora and it's actually for 60 the homes and i was actually shopping for a gift for someone and i came across this um in the sale section and i was like okay let's try it on and i really liked it to the point that i got one for myself in addition to buying two for her um so one end is basically a dark shade and kind of a pointed um, lipstick whereas the other one is a lighter shade with a thicker um, lipstick so this one is the, the lighter one is basically for contouring your lips and I mean the darker one is for contouring your lips and the lighter one is for filling in your lips and the color is great and they had quite a good like um, they had some really good options when it came to colors but this is the one that I went for because it um, was the best for my skin tone um, alrighty so okay I see two blushes here um, this brush girls you need to have this brush if you don't have this brush I really don't know what you guys are doing in your life because this brush is the bomb can be so thirsty Mm. so Moroccan tea is my favorite tea this winter because it has a bit of um, it has a bit of green tea and it has a bit of peppermint to it not just like out of the tea bag but I actually add some real mint leaves um, before I strain the tea out from the pot into my cup and with the goodness of fresh mint uh, and some green tea and sometimes I put sugar and sometimes I don't but this tea is it's too good it's too good really it can be a great tea even to serve to guests once they're done with their dinner anyway so um these two blushes um one is from l'oreal and one is from miko forever so one is like a drugstore brand and the other one is a high-end brand um but both of them to me honestly I don't find a lot of difference in you know how they make me look the only difference is that this shade here is one second let me open both of them um, so this shade is a bright pink um, not the bright pink that uh, people of other complexions might be able to pull off but it's bright enough for me it's a very cute pink and it's the pink that I'm wearing today and the, this one here is I will tell you the shade number it's called golden amber blush so it's basically a mauvey kind of um, pink a mauvey pink definitely and it has some little bit of golden shimmer going on um, honestly I've not seen the shimmery effect any kind of glow on my um, cheeks after applying it but um, this is good for times when I have not done my full coverage makeup. I have just done a bit of sheer powder on my face and I need some color on it. Next is an eyeliner. So this eyeliner has been with me for one and a half years and I never got around using it. I did use it a couple of times, but there were so many other eyeliners that I was using um, for the past one and a half years. I used two or three eyeliners, marker eyeliners by um, 
Physicians Formula. So Phys Physicians Formula is a drugstore brand by America and uh, I mean from America and um, some of the products are really good like their marker eyeliner is so smooth. I think I used to have a better experience than I had uh, with um, with um, Kat Von D tattoo liner because when you use Kat Von D's tattoo eyeliner it is definitely very jet black uh, but on an everyday basis, I found Physician's Formula much more smooth to apply and that was a better experience for me overall. And um, so I used two to three of those and then I used e.l.f. eyeliner again. That was also great, uh, very cheap, but great product to use. Rimmel, um, it's called a Rimmel Exaggerate Eyeliner, Eyeliner Intense. This is really good. I am wearing it right now. It's really black. It's its applicator is you know initially I didn't really like its applicator because it's it's short and it kind of doesn't give you the you know the the flickiness or the flexibility of a longer brush which was the case um, with uh, e.l.f. and also the same with um, the marker eyeliner by Physicians Formula but when I did get around using it I really liked the fact that the, the, the liquid itself is so jet black that I really cannot ask for a more black one and I definitely will be buying more of this so um, Again, like I said, I was actually going to get to this uh, this pencil here. Uh, see, whenever I buy these things, most of them come after a lot of research that I've done. Um, like, with time on YouTube, etc, etc. I'm not somebody who likes to test products at the expense of my money. So, I did know that Rommel makes good eyeliners and good eye pencils. So, this eye pencil is so jet black. And not just that, it is really durable. Um, it does not melt away, it does not kind of transfer that much. And even if you somehow get wet, your face is wet because I do face sprays all the time. None of that really has ever made my eyeliner or my um, eye pencil budge, both are by Rommel. This particular shade is called Blackest Black because with olive tones, the blacker it is, the better it is for you. So um, before I talk about this, I'll show you this. DMGM makes this eyebrow pencil and it is my favorite because number one, um, the consistency of the, you know, the, the product inside the pencil is great. And um, the spoolie at the end, show you here. So the spoolie, um, I don't know if you can see it, but the spoolie at the end is just like a straight, narrow, short comb, not the regular spiral spoolies at the end of pencils, which really allow me to kind of work on my brow more easily and precisely. Um, and this is definitely perhaps something that I love, 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 and one of my favorite eyebrow products. It's called Cabrow by Benefit and I have used three or four of these samples because whenever I shop from Sephora online, I opt to get this as sample and most of the time they have it. But this here it actually covers the brow, gives it a more fuller look and uh, gives a more intense look. Also, it kind of defines the outer lines of the brows even more. So your eye makeup pops out even more in a nice way um, <clears throat> okay so the thing that probably should have come up way earlier is now right now uh, in my hands and these are two concealers that I really like um, so this one is um, the fit me concealer by Maybelline a lot of people love it to uh, a, such a great extent that they say that this is kind of a deal for the NARS concealer um, it might be I don't know because I've never tried NARS um, I like Maybelline, I like the formula and overall the coverage etc. But I feel that the you know the, the tone, the, the color that they come in is not the best for me. But still, you know, if I'm using um, this 
for the time when I'm gonna do full coverage makeup, the tone doesn't really matter as much. So when I'm using Huda Beauty foundation, I use this foundation. I mean, this concealer. So there are times when I just wanna do a very medium coverage makeup for like daytime, I'm just going out uh, with my family and I just want to have a decent looking face uh, without much blemishes or pigmentation showing and a couple of other things going on and that is when my L'Oreal True Match concealer comes out um, you will be surprised to know that this um, concealer is called L'Oreal True Match and the same for this too this also is L'Oreal True Match but this is the one that I got from the US and this is the one I bought in the UAE but this Oh, I love this. It is creamy. It is very like, it has good coverage. And the applicator is basically a very flexible brush, which lets me go into the inner corners of my eye and any other location of my face. Um, it really is my favorite concealer at this point in time. So when I was running out of this, I wanted to buy another one. When I bought this, I found that even though the name is the same, um, the work that, is, that it's doing is definitely not the same. This is more on the neutral side, whereas this is more on the cool side. And my skin is definitely, definitely not cool. It is either neutral or towards the warm, warm um, tone. Mm. My tea has gone completely cold, but it still tastes so nice, which makes me think that it would be a good idea to kind of store it in the fridge and have it as iced tea. And this here, hoo hoo. So if I was on a desert and um, I could be allowed to carry just one product with me, just one, it would be the MAC Studio Fix Compact. Um, it's actually called Studio Fix Powder Plus Foundation. So when you open it, it comes with a puff and a mirror and the cake, the powder cake. And there is another section where you're actually supposed to put, <laughs> I have the, basically I have probably half a dozen of these boxes or whatever in my drawer right now but i don't throw them away i just keep them and i have a lot of these sponges so i need to tell you about why this is so important for me um back in the day when i was a student um i used to travel a lot like in public transport and i used to be in my university for really long hours so becoming oily was a must right to mattify my skin i used to usually use etude powder which had kind of medium coverage and it used to really mattify my skin and with a bit of that powder and with a bit of a like light lipstick and a little bit of like eye pencil i used to look very presentable but there came a time when um etude stopped coming and that was around the time that i was getting married and then um i discovered mac I can have like completely dry skin and I can use this foundation let me just show you actually and try to cover up these marks using this foundation powder and you will know what I'm talking about um, so on a fine day I have some not like serious pigmentation but some um, you know good amount of uh, pigmentation that's the only problem my skin has and this foundation does not obviously hide it uh, completely but it, it just kind of makes me as good as any powder possibly can so here's the powder here is a black eyeliner and I'm going to show you what it does so that was the first layer there we go you see this is the black one it was jet black before and now it's probably just 30% of um, as black as it was before so that is a lot and a lot of like coverage for you so there is another brush here and I'm not sure why it's in my everyday makeup pouch but mm, this brush here actually I got this when I achieved the VIB status in Sephora 
you the first time you hit a VIB, they send you this gift, which is so cool because this is basically an airbrush. It can be used for so many purposes. It can just you can use it to just blend out your contour or even your highlighter, or you can even use it to apply your blush um, or contour again. So it's it's an airbrush, and it really smooths out, blends, or applies makeup in the most flawless way. Okay, so this mascara has I have been using this for past three or four three years actually, three and a half years ago I landed um, on this. They have two um, steps in which you have to apply your mascara in. The first one is basically the fiber or the volumizer. So when you apply it on your eyelashes, your eyelashes kind of double in volume because of the fibers that they have. And the second step in the, is the second step is then to apply your mascara. And it never clumps. It never clumps. It's just fabulous. I don't know what I'm going to do without this because I'm not somebody who uses um, artificial um, lashes. So this really gives my lashes a really, really great boost. Oh my goodness, I need some more tea in my life right now. Okay, so, um, so this is a lip stain and I really like it for times when I'm just in the house and I'm literally wearing nothing but found, um, nothing but moisturizer right after washing my face. Now, by nature, my lips are quite pale, like they don't have any color in them. So this, um, it's called um, Revlon Matte Balm. It's not like glossy at all, which is great because um, when you want your lips to look natural, too glossy a look can also kind of make it look uh, like you're wearing a product and if you do like a matte balm it looks really natural like you can't really tell um, whether or not it's your real um, skin color or not ha 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 this is Sephora always red number one guys if you don't know which red lipstick to buy and you're confused about it in life just close your eyes, take out your money from your wallet, give it to the girl at the cash counter at Sephora and say, please give me Sephora always red number one. Because this is a color that when I first tried at Sephora, but when I applied it to my lips, I felt like I had fallen in love and I was probably in a European city, although I was not. I was in the US, but it felt like I was in Europe. I was feeling so amazing with this beautiful color and it goes with my skin tone. Uh, another thing in my pouch is a pen. A pen. When, well, and uh, a gloss. It gives a really, really good um, boost to the look overall. The last three things in my bag are this. A hairband, which I keep losing all the time. An empty pin case. All these pins have disappeared. My hijab pins, I really don't know where they are. And for the longest time, I thought I had no safety pins, but apparently I do. And it's in my bag right here. I just found out. So until my...